All right, guys, thank you very much for um, joining this session. Mendeley um, is a wonderful software that I wanted to introduce you guys to. Um, amongst other things, what's really cool about it is it allows you to organize your articles. It allows you to be able to cite um, your articles in whatever format your journal needs. Um, it's a reference manager. It's a reference. Uh, it's a citation, um, kind of like RefWorks or something like that, where it'll automatically cite your article uh, articles into your research paper. And what I want to talk about today, actually, is that it's also a great sharing resource. So what you have to do is you have to go to Mendeley.com. Uh, let me just bring this up a little bit. Uh, and then what you're going to do is make an account. Now it's free to make an account, uh, so you don't have to worry about um, you know paying anything. Now there are um, added features that you can pay for, but again, just do do the free account, okay? And then once you do once you do that, you're going to download Mendeley. Now Mendeley is really great because um, it's compatible with just about every operating system you can imagine: Linux, Mac and Windows. And there's actually an Android version called Scholarly, um, which is also um, an option. Now, of course, I wouldn't, I don't imagine you're probably going to be doing a lot of this stuff out of your Android tablet. You'll probably be doing this from your computer. Um, but Scholarly does, of course, link into the Mendeley account, so that's pretty cool, too. Now, uh, once you do that, you're going to download, uh, once you've downloaded your Mendeley de desktop, I'm just going to show this to you real quick here, you can see that you can actually organize um, all of your um, studies based on topic. You can make a folder on your Pico, etc. Now what I want to show you is creating a group. Um, so you're just going to go to groups, create group, uh, enter group, group name, and I would probably make it, I don't know, AVECT, oops, um, and then whatever your Pico question is. It's probably not a bad way to go. Uh, I want a private group, so make sure you choose private. I'm going to create it. Now the thing is, is for the free option, you can only share with up to two other people. But that's fine because most of your Pico groups are going to be um, with another person. Uh, let's say Kenichiro is my um, person that I'm going to share with, so I'm just going to send him an invite um, to join this group. Now once that's good done, uh, we have pretty much our groups right here. Um, let's say I want to, um, uh, you know, share a particular article then what I'm going to do is um, pretty much look under, you know, um, you can do one of a couple of things. You can, uh, if you already have it in your Mendeley, all you have to do is drag a PDF into your Mendeley desktop. So, for instance, let's say um, I want to put in my ARLT uh, score sheet, this ARLT evaluation sheet here, right there. All I have to do is um, pretty much take it in my, you know, highlight my group, take the ARLT index thing here and just drag it into the group. Once I do that, that document, um, and I'll pass over that right now, will come up. Now, immediately this information, um, in this case, I made, you know, like I made this sheet, so it doesn't really have metadata on it. Um, you know, so we'll just create a title for it, um, index for evaluation. Um, and, you know, we could put in the rest of information. It's from, um, Journal of uh, Veterinary uh, Medical Education, it was 2012, uh, you know, we can fill that information out as necessary. Um, the main thing is, is that we're going to use this um, to share, um, you know, I want to share this with Kenichiro so that way he can um, actually pull up the article and what you can do is also take notes, um, you know, this is a great quality assessment resource, which of course it is. Um, you know, etc. So pretty much that's going to be shared between me and Kenichiro. So he gets access to the PDF and to the reference information that he can utilize it in his write-up as well. Um, so great resource. Um, I hope you guys take advantage of this. I think it's a, it's a good way to go. Um, hopefully when you guys pair up for your PICOs, we have one academic, one non-academic. So that way the academic can probably have access to those resources that you need. Um, that way they can just kind of populate the folder, the group folder with the articles. Uh, that's about it. Thank you for joining me.